measure. Here's oh. standing on. Oh, okay. <laughs> These are, this is, it, it can't, the university just redid this site. And what you're standing on, there is three, there was originally three beds covered of porous concrete. They had a bed right under our feet, and there's a little berm, another bed in the center, a little berm, and another bed at the bottom. Um, it was the first pervious concrete in the area, and we paid nearly. Uh, the first turn from porous concrete to pervious gravel <laughs> in about one winter, and then we ripped it out. And then we redid it again, and we put basically, one thing we learned is it was so pervious, he didn't need to do the whole thing of pervious pavements. So we put strips around the edges, and half of that failed. And basically, pervious concrete is a, is, uh, you have to educate the manufacturer, the installation crews. It's very sensitive to water mixtures, water ratios. They added strength factors. They didn't cover it very well. Now that's completely different. And Dr. Welker will tell you about a different site later on where we show where it's worked very well for us. But back then it was new. If they didn't clean out the the bolt, the, the drum for the cement mixer and left the water in there, it could be killed. If they took too long to get here, it could set up. So the big lesson is pervious concrete. You first get somebody's experience, and Dr. Welker will tell you more about that at the next site. And you also make sure you, you're not the first person that this guy has done. <laughs> you know, so you gotta, but it's a very good product now. Uh, the university, for the look of it, they wanted to do something different. And I said, well, if you can get the water in, that's all I care. And so they cho I gave them options of rain gardens, of overflows, pervious pavements, and they chose pervious pavers. These are a little bit uh, separated apart. Uh, the beds also take runoff from all the hoses, from all the, all the downspouts, from all the buildings around here. This was designed so if you get a two-year storm, you have no runoff, physical runoff from the site. So it's, uh, now we haven't studied this for a long time, and frankly we haven't studied it for a long time, is because we couldn't find anything. We are really cranking up the detection limits, we found a little copper out of the pipes, found a little chlorides. Uh, you know, that was about it. I mean, basically it worked so well we quit studying the site. Except for the surface, uh, which still didn't look good five or ten years later. So that's a difference of the industry has really uh, improved since then. Um, these porous pavers, we'll find out. I mean, these are brand new. We're actually trying to finish a grant to study this site again. I was encouraged during construction when they had the, ripped off the old porous pavement pavement, uh, they put in some observation wells. There's one right over there for us. Little, that little plate there is an observation well. So we can add in, uh, we can put instrumentation back into it. So we're trying to take a, one of them take a look at it after several years, after, how long was it? Uh, it was about 2002. 2010 years, about how well it works. Now, the porous pavers is basically a filtration mechanism. So every once in a while, Villanova is going to have to suck out between the cracks and put more sand down. Just like, uh, now, how often that's going to be, this is a fairly clean site, so we'll find out. I'd have no idea. This is, as I said, this was built in September or August, so it's fairly new. It looks nice. Now, not all the brick are porous. For some reason, that little square is not, and the center is, so it's like every other one. I'm not sure why. Um, uh, the only other thing I would say about this site was that it, when we was when we first learned about infiltration rates through soil, that it is a function of temperature, and uh, so we also found that, and not just the rain gardens, we found that in these sites as well. Do you have anything you want to say about this site?